Hi guys, welcome back to my podcast. Welcome back to Sean's Magical Odyssey. So today's episode, guys, is just a quick one. Um, I just wanted to share a little story with you guys. Uh, This morning, I went to get my first COVID vaccine shot. Um, and I wanted to just share the experience with you. Um, I did go and get the Pfizer vaccine. Um, I was able to get it early because I do work in a healthcare related field. Um, and because of that, I was eligible to get the vaccine, um, a little bit earlier. Um, and I'm happy about that. Um, just because uh, the job that I do, we have been in the office the whole time through the pandemic. We have been seeing patients. So it puts me in a little bit of a high risk category. Um, And it was time. It was time. And uh, the Pfizer vaccine was definitely one that I wanted. Uh, So I applied through the health unit here locally in Windsor, where I live, um, through the healthcare organization that I work with. um, And myself and the nurse that works in my office were uh, selected to have an appointment scheduled for us to go in and get the vaccine. So uh, the nurse that I work with, uh, she went yesterday morning. Uh, She went in for 8.30 a.m. and got her vaccine, Um, and I went this morning. It was uh, my scheduled appointment uh, today, and um, my appointment was at 8 a.m., so up nice and early, a little bit excited about getting it, so I didn't sleep in I guess is the thing. I did get a good night's sleep, but I was up early uh, just because I didn't want to miss the appointment. So I wanted to get up and get showered and get breakfast and make sure that I had all the paperwork and documentation that I needed and head over to the sports complex here in Windsor, Ontario, which is part of St. Clair College. And that's where they are doing the Pfizer vaccines in my area. So um, yeah, so I got there at about 7.35 this morning. So I was a little bit earlier. Uh, So I was uh, just hanging out in the car. They asked for people uh, to not arrive too much earlier than your scheduled appointment because they didn't want a bunch of people kind of just hanging around. Um, So at about 10 to 8, I left my vehicle and made my way into the building, um, at which time, of course, before you entered, you had to bring a one of those blue surgical masks with you. Uh, You weren't allowed to bring just kind of a cloth one, the ones that you normally use when you're out and about you had to specifically bring a surgical blue max which i did um and then once you're inside uh you go through kind of a line where they kind of have those little um partitions put up those little um kind of seat belt ones that they have the poles and they extend it out so they had that kind of set up so it was very easy to follow where you needed to go um and my first encounter uh was with a lady who was checking everybody in just making sure they had all their documentation checking their health cards uh making sure they were asking us the covid screening questions make sure that we weren't outside of the country or have been in contact with somebody who has covid and um yeah then they give you a face shield And then you make your way further down in the line, and then you make your way into a second area where they just verify all of your information again, um, and they want to make sure that you have uh, the correct contact information that you had supplied to them. So they're double-checking all of that with you. Um, And they asked me if I was interested in um, receiving emails about any of the research on the COVID vaccines, and of course I am. Um, I do enjoy reading about it, and and especially knowing what's going into my body. I think it's really, really important. Um, There's so many things going on right now, especially like with the AstraZeneca vaccine, where in Europe, a lot of the countries have put a suspension on dosing that to patients. Um, So I was very thankful that I was provided the Pfizer vaccine just because of my research. Um, Very, very, very little incidences of anything uh, of consequence. So happy about that. Um, and of course I want to read any information that's available out there as well. So yes, I do want them to send me any studies or research that they have done on the vaccines. So once that was done, uh, I made my way all the way down to the end and, uh, was met by another nurse who then put me in the room 
which had a beautiful recliner chair in it and a table. And uh, I was able to kind of just chill in there for a little bit and waiting for the nurse who was actually going to give me the injection to arrive. Um, And she did come in. Her name was Caitlin. She was awesome. She was a young, young nurse. Um, Asked me some questions just to make sure that I didn't have any allergies to vaccines previously, if I had any medication that I was taking that might affect my immune system, if I had any autoimmune illnesses, just because those are things that you have to be careful of before you take a vaccine, right? Because how it interacts with your immune system. So of course, I had no issues with any of that kind of stuff. Um, and so they proceeded to give me the injection, uh, which was very quick. Um, it goes into your arm, uh, kind of at the upper part, they did it into the upper part of the deltoid. Um, and she did la- allow me to videotape my experience or video it, not videotape, but video it on my phone. So I have that forever and ever and ever. Um, and yeah, it's, and it's a very different setup in there. I almost felt like I was in kind of like a field hospital setup because it was the gymnasium that's in the sports plex and they had it all done up with these kind of uh, plastic wall barriers. And then they had like shower curtains, white shower curtains that they pull across for privacy. Um, and yeah, it was just a really, really different experience. I've never, ever, ever experienced anything like this, um, to this extent in my lifetime. So it's a part of history. And that's really what I felt. And I was glad to be a part of this experience. I'm always telling people at the end of my podcast to stay safe, stay healthy, get vaccinated. So, um, of course, if I'm going to tout that message, then I need to get vaccinated myself. So um, the way we're doing it in Canada is with the dosing, the second dose, um, instead of doing it the three weeks um, in Canada, they're extending us out to 16 weeks for the second dose. And that's so that we can give every Canadian an opportunity to get vaccinated, um, just because it's better to have some protection than have none, obviously. Um, And that's fine. So I will go back in 16 weeks from today and get my second shot. Um, And uh, so what did I experience today? Well, not really much. If I feel my arm right now, just a little bit tender, nothing nothing major. Um, I'm aware, obviously, if I press there like I'm doing now, I can feel a little bit of tenderness, but very mild. Um, I did feel a little bit of a slight headache um, this morning um, and carried through the afternoon and a little bit of fatigue, probably because that's my immune system being ramped up. And um, now that the uh, Pfizer vaccine, which is the new mRNA Uh, technology um, that has been developed for the Pfizer and the uh, Moderna vaccine. Um, So obviously, it's a new thing for me. The other vaccines that I've had previously in my life did not have that new technology. Um, So I was a little bit fatigued today, but I did go out for a walk because it was a beautiful sunny day. And I thought that that would help boost my mood a little bit. And it did. Fresh air is good. Um, I feel like too, if I'm walking and exercising, it's increasing my heart rate and it's getting the vaccine um, spread around my bloodstream a little quicker. So that's what I, that's the theory I have in my head. So I feel like that probably helped as well too. And there was something that I did read in a study that talked about after you get your shot to have a um, green tea. So I stopped by uh, one of the local coffee shops here and I picked up a hot green tea um, because I had read that some of the, I want to say phenophiles that are in green tea help with the, um, help reduce the inflammation of the vaccine. So that's what I did. So maybe it helped, maybe it didn't. But uh, anyways, I'm just doing basically what I had read. So it's worth a shot. Why not? And, um, so as the day went on, yes, that's really all I experienced. Um, nothing right now, now that I'm recording this, so I'll have to see tomorrow. Some people said that the arm tenderness was a little bit increased the next day. So I'll have to see what happens there. I do know though, that I did read that with the second dose of the Pfizer one, um, a lot of people do get a flu like symptom for about 24 hours. So a little bit of chills, some aches and pains, um, a little bit, uh, maybe of a headache, just kind of like an early kind of 
flu onset feeling, but it only lasts for about 24 hours. So that, I mean, I think I can survive that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so it was a great experience today. Um, I just thought everybody was super friendly. It was very, very organized because I was a little bit nervous, uh, going in because I didn't know what the experience was going to be like. Um, and I feel like everybody that was involved with this, all the nurses, all the volunteers uh, that were helping out at the sport complex today to make sure that the patients felt comfortable, uh, to make sure that you knew where you were going, um, that you especially we're dealing with something new like this, right? This is kind of unheard of. So you're dealing with a brand new vaccine, you're dealing with a new virus. And to the extent that the whole world has been shut down or shutting down again, because some places are experiencing a third wave. Um, so I just feel so much better that I got it done. Um, but again, yes, I just want to thank everybody that made this process so easy for me today. Um, I want to thank Caitlin. She probably won't ever, ever hear this, but I will put her name out there anyway. Uh, she was great. She let me videotape my experience and I was really excited about that. So I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, she just had a smile on her face and she just made me feel super comfortable. So the experience was Great. Um, so once the vaccine was in, they ask you to wait for about 15 minutes. They just want to make sure that you're not having um, any reaction. And they check on you every five minutes, uh, ask how you're doing, how I'm feeling. I felt fine. So there was no issue after 15 minutes. Um, I left the venue. I said thank you to people on the way out. Um, and then went in and got into my car and then drove to work and uh, worked um, this morning. And then I did take the afternoon off just so I could kind of uh, relax and allow the vaccine to take hold in my bloodstream. And, and that was it. But anyways, I just wanted to share this quick podcast with you guys today. Um, because I don't know if any of you out there are contemplating whether or not you should get it done. Um, based on the research that I have read, uh, you should, you should get it done. Um, I know there's the talk of enough people doing it. So there's herd immunity. But if you are questioning or worried about what the experience is going to be like, it was very, very easy. I would recommend that you go and get the vaccine. Um, it's protecting yourself. It's protecting others around you. It helps us get back to normal a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope that this, uh, this little talk or this little story here helps relax you and ease your mind um, and uh, let you know that it was a great experience. And I'm sure that wherever you're getting it in the world, you will also have a great experience as well. These healthcare professionals just want you to feel safe. They want you to feel comfortable. They want you to uh, get the vaccine. They want you in to encourage other people to get it done. Um, so the experience is great. So anyways, guys, that's it. Um, just a quick one today. Um, I'm very excited. Probably when I go back uh, in 16 weeks, I will do another little podcast just to let you know how the second uh, vaccine dose went uh, with a little follow up on that. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So I just want to say thank you very much for listening today. I hope this story helps ease your mind. Guys, if if you are not following me on Instagram or Facebook, you can do so at Sean's Magical Odyssey. Also, guys, you can follow me on Twitter at Magical Sean. And guys, don't forget, I'm uh, out there in the YouTube world. I love my YouTube channel. It's growing every day. Um, and if you have not seen it, please go on YouTube search Sean's Magical Odyssey. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you share any videos that you watch with anybody out there that you think would be interested in um, my story or what I'm talking about in that particular video. So anyways, guys, thank you for listening today. I hope wherever you are, stay safe, love one another, get vaccinated, and we'll see you next time on Sean's Magical Odyssey.